Hello everyone. This is March the 24th, 2024. It's 3.15 p.m. and we got a current temperature of 3 degrees. Wind chill making it feel like minus 2. Still not bad for early March. I'm in Roe Beach, in case you didn't recognize this uh, scenery here, but you probably did. I think it'll affect our walk too much. This is a Sunday, Sunday afternoon. But I realized I didn't have a video for Monday, so I said, better get out of the house, go and do something. So I have something for Monday because my videos come out on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So we have to be ready for Monday. And a nice day for a walk. It really is. As long as you're going to be dressed, it's okay. And I'm dressed for the, I'm dressed for the cold. So. A lot of work gone in right here on this corner in the last couple of years. Two years ago, none of that was there. that crane is is the last building in this bunch right here I know there's some more down the street and you see the sign there Richmond Yards that is what they call this area right here Richmond Yards once all done it'll be referred to as Richmond Yards It'll be a nice, nice area to live in. But if I think I'm paying high rent now, I have a feeling I'd be a lot more right here. But who knows, right? Who knows what the prices will be? I want to see that place tore down. I want to see that so bad. That whole block, right from there, the part of it up here is under construction, the, the last part of this block. Then we just gotta get that part done. Yes, it's nearing the end. We got one one building to go up here.
Think of what we could have on that piece of land right there, all the way to the corner, to Almond. And it comes all the way down to the next street. When you count that piece right there that they're working on. Most cities right now, most cities in Canada, are changing quite rapidly. From the small ones to the medium-sized ones to the large ones, they're all, they're all changing. A lot of new buildings going up everywhere because we're in a housing crisis right now. Because they, there's not, it's a very, it's a mark, it's the renters, it's the renters market right now. And we got to turn that around. We got to be a I mean, it's, it's, the, it's, it's the owner of the apartments. It's the market for them, not for the people paying the rent. It's a bad time for renters who are paying the rent, but it's a good time for the people who are renting the buildings out and someone's paying them. They can pretty well dictate what they want for rent and you somebody will pay it. Hopefully that turns around before too long. But I wouldn't look for it any time this year or next year. That place been empty for a while now. Good chance for anybody who wants to open up a shop or some kind of like a garage or body shop or you know any of that kind of stuff. Oh by the way I am walking southward on Roby. Okay, I'm not sure how far we'll go, we'll go quite a ways. On this nice Sunday afternoon. Now I got another Mazda. It must be the same. It must be the same owners to spread out to that other parking lot right back there. We see Mazda, and then you see Mazda here. So it must be the same owners spread out a little bit to the next spot. Coming up to North Street. I'm gonna stay right on Roby. Continue south on Roby Street. I see they got the street all blocked off here on North Street going 
going uh, west from here. I think they're cutting trees. Oh, I see a pole fell on the wire over there. Look at this. We gotta walk over and take a little look. I won't be able to go down through there because of the danger of it falling, but I can show you it from here. I don't know if somebody hit it or a tree fell over. Look. They, they got a big tree out in the middle of the street here. Two poles. Looks like the tree fell over. Oh, three poles. Look at this. Three poles. I'm not going to stand under this wire because I could get... I could get... It could fall. I'm going to get over here of the way and try to show you it. From here, three poles are down. One pole there. One pole right there. There's three all together. There's the second one. So I'm going to try to get down here just a little bit and show you them all. Show you all the poles that are down. I guess one of these big trees must have fell over. It did. It came right up over the ground there. Even damaged the sidewalk. Wow. What a what a catastrophe this is. Look at those two poles right there. Wow, a tree, a tree but I was looking at those trees the other day, commenting on how they're right up through the, the power lines and everything. And this is what happened. That high wind, I guess, we had. It uprooted that tree right out of the ground and, and tore down all these hydro poles. I'll see if I can get a better look in here. At that one there, you can see it leaning against the tree. It's what keeping that pole up. And then you got two more right over there. And the workers are here on Sunday afternoon. Putting it all back together for us. All right, there we are. Well, I'm glad I came along because that was a good news item there to come across. It's always good to run across things like that. Not that good that they happen, but if they're going to happen, I, I like to be one of the people that came along and, and I got it on my video. Alright. That was uh, that. Pole, there we got a lot of leaning poles. Look at that one right there. That one over there, that's leaning quite a bit. Anyways, here we go. Continue on down Rovie Street. To anyone that doesn't know, I know a lot of my, my regular viewers know where Roby Street is and, and what kind of street it is and all that. But for anybody new, that's new to the channel, Roby Street runs from north to south. So you can go north end to south end pretty well with Roby. Maybe not quite as far south as you, as you the south goes to, but... It goes across the city. Roby's a, a, a main a main artery across the top of the city. No way to put that. Well, I wonder if we'll see any more trees blown over after all that wind. Hmm. Wouldn't be surprised. All the trees we got in this city. Wouldn't be surprised at all. Looks like another construction job getting ready right here. By the luck to it with the fence around it. And empty lot. Oh, I'd love to see stuff going up because it's, you know the city's not dead completely with, when there's stuff being built all the time. When it looks the same now as it did 30 years ago, don't move there. <laughs> Unless you're living in a for nostalgia or something great about that place, but I like to see a city that's moving, moving, doing, doing things, growing. New buildings going up.
You'd never know it by looking at Nova Scotia, but New Brunswick. You got a great big snowstorm yesterday. Oh, a foot of snow or something like that. A lot of snow. We got heavy rain and high winds, but we didn't get any snow. So. We got spared on that one. And who knows, that could be the end of the snow for this year. Because here we are, soon be to the middle of March. Well, we got a short work week coming up this week. Since Friday is a holiday for Good Friday, we got four days. Anybody that's working anywhere is probably have short week. Unless you're in the food industry or something like that, you might have to work. But, but for a lot of folks, it'll be a holiday will be for my wife. She's got the, the day off. My son will have the day off on his job. And I got every day off. <laughs> and the holidays don't really uh, affect me one way or the other. Other than that, I get to have my wife home for a day extra, which that is always nice. Well, it's almost uh, income tax time for us in our house. It has been, it's been income tax time for a lot of people already, but we're just getting around to do it now, so. Mine's really easy, but my wife's is complicated. But mine is easy. When I retired from work, the government asked me, do I want to pay income tax in? If I wanted to, I would get it back in the spring and I could choose my rate. And I, I chose the rate that I was getting, I was paying him working. I mean, it's a good idea because every, every spring, I get about $2,000 back in the spring and that's always good. Chance to buy some new clothes and maybe get some equipment I need for something, and, you know, that kind of stuff. Catch up a few bills. Car from Texas right there. He's got more scrapes on his knees on than we do. We've got a lot of, a, few, a couple of scrapes on ours. Well, this is the new, newest building on Roby going up right here. On Canard, corner Roby and Canard. I know some of the neighbors weren't very happy because they put signs up here all the time about no, no one con consulted them when they made this. They don't have to. They don't have to consult you because if they get a permit to build, they can build. They don't care about what you want. They don't care about the neighbors. If you want it here or not, you're gonna get it because they got, they got their permit and they started building it. So you might as well be keep still as make a racket over it. Can you see through the fence there? You see the 
They're working on the on the hall. They have to dig. Have to have a nice hole there before they put a building up. That's the first step. And then get the crane tower up, there. and then after that, you you start working on it. This is Compton, Compton Avenue right here. Citadel Hill over there in the background. And this is part of the Halifax Common park areas grass and things, things to make it enjoyable in the summer. I hope this wind isn't making too much noise in the fall. It's a little windy, but bear with me. How many minutes have I been walking? I've been walking 21 minutes so far. I try to get this video somewhere around 45 minutes. I could end up going over, but I'll try my best to keep it somewhere in that. In that, in that, that that's that's the mode I shoot for. But lately, I made them an hour. <laughs> but I try to shoot for 45 minute video today. We'll see how it all goes. Okay. Well, at least it's not raining and the wind's not blowing hard. That stopped me. That's why I didn't get a video made earlier. Because it was raining, it was pouring, I couldn't do anything. Yesterday, yesterday was a write-off. It was just really, really hard wind blowing and pouring rain. It came down in buckets. So, I couldn't really do anything yesterday and the day before was like really cold and windy so I passed on yesterday and the day before too so yeah, I came over Friday to make it and it was too cold and windy so I gave that up and then Saturday was even worse so here it is Sunday the best of the best of the last three days today's much better than those days I love it because every time they put up a new a new high rise, it adds a lot to the neighborhood, to the businesses, like coffee shops and restaurants and stores. It, it makes a big difference to those uh, establishments around here. Like you know, Quinpool Road, they'll be walking up and down Quinpool Road and trying out the coffee shops. And, the restaurants and places and it's going to help a lot having the new high rise right here there have been a lot of improvements made to Quinpool Road in recent times well, I don't know if there's a building plan for this one or not or what it's going to be Let's see, I think it is. Propose in your neighborhood. Right there. Okay. 2032, 2050 Roby Street. Let's see if it says anything about what it, what's going to be. It's due to change the landscaping for previously approved commercial and residential building at this spot. Previously approved. Okay. To change the landscape before previously approved commercial and residential building at this spot. Proposed in your neighborhood. Another building gonna go up right there maybe. 
I don't think it'll be the size of that one, but because I don't think there's enough room for one that size. But they've still got a building proposed for that. It doesn't say they're going to get it. They just made the proposal. There's a lot to it to secure the, the building that we had and the land and get it zoned if you have to. And Oh, I got music going here. Wait, there's a green light. I think maybe they'll drag away from me. I don't want to get into trouble with copyright issues, so I got to let that car get away from me. They've got the music playing. Okay. All right, there we go. The car's gone. It don't happen to me very often. Most of the time, I don't get flagged for copyright. I try not to. It's not my intention to violate the copyright laws at all. I try. I go out of my way to avoid it. But sometimes it can't be helped. You come around the corner and the music's just blaring. I don't, unfortunately, I haven't been able to get a one of those uh, battery operated microphones to put on your jacket, you got a little button there, you can put out the volume whenever there's something you don't want to go out on the, the sound, you can just hit that button and stop it. When you get out of range, you can start it again. I'm hoping to get one. I haven't got one yet, but. It's going to turn green. There it goes. That's such a long ways across this intersection that you don't keep the walk signal long enough to get across. You still have the numbers and you got the green traffic light, but the walk, the walk signal, you're not even halfway across when it changes. Somebody's tooting. I don't want the tooting out, but. Some, some, some people are always blowing their horns. They jump in the car and put one hand on the horn, just in case you want to blow it at somebody. Pepperell Street, right here. cup coffee chocolates and that in there yeah a place I've never been in it looks interesting
Shirley Street. These streets here, I don't really travel them. They're residential streets. I mean, I could walk them, but I haven't done it much. But today we're going to stick to Roby, and then we'll see what we do when we get down to the other end. Just looking to see what time it is here. Looks like 31 minutes so far. I might go a little over on my 45 minute deadline. I don't have to hold myself right to it. If I want to keep on making a video. I'm hoping for good weather this week so I can get out either Monday or Tuesday and make a video for Wednesday. Just walk around the back of them rather than make him wait for me. Because I'm not in a great hurry. No. Let him go. Here's an empty parking lot that could very well have some construction on it before long. That building looked like it maybe was a small schoolhouse at one time. It looks like it's the apartment building now, I think, but it does have a kind of a look of a schoolhouse. Yeah. I might be wrong. It might not even have been a schoolhouse ever. It might have been always an apartment building. Just, just struck me that way, kind of resembled the school a little bit. Well, we've had a, quite a week of remembering Brian Mulroney, our former Prime Minister. How many out there can remember Brian Mulroney? I can. I can remember Brian Mulroney. He was the leader of the Conservative Party of Canada. He was, I'm not sure how many terms he had in. I'm not sure now. Because I was much younger then and I didn't really follow politics in the way I do now. That dog staring right at me. <laughs> you give me the eye. Give me the evil eye. Think we'll see any more power lines down? I don't know. Possibly. Possibly we'll see some more. That was quite a mess up there. For sure, to say the least. I think the light's gonna change. So I'm just gonna stand right here. <coughs> Jubilee Road for my friend Mike. Out in Manitoba. This is his home area down in here. <coughs> Might get a, a green light here before long. 
There we go. We got a walk sign. Thirty-five minutes right now. Yeah, we're gonna go over the forty-five. So don't panic if I if it goes an hour. It's still fun, right? Take these walks with me. I know a lot of you do. As far as I know, I'm the only one doing this kind of video right now in Halifax. I don't know of another YouTuber. There's lots of YouTube channels. They do another things and. But I don't know of any that's just walking around like I am and showing you these, what it's like to walk around the streets here in Halifax. I haven't met anyone that's doing it. And I've been doing it now for three years and I have not met anybody doing what I'm doing. I'm not saying they don't exist. They might. I saw one a couple of years ago where a guy was standing on the corner. Somewhere's up, up in, uh, oh, going up towards uh, Main Street, up around that area. I saw somebody standing on a corner, corner by the by the Esso, and they did their video standing there. That's it. They didn't walk anywhere. They just stood there on that corner, and it was about a 15-minute video or something. So I did see that, but I didn't see, I don't really see anybody walking around. I never saw this before. Maritime Sleep Clinic and Dental Center and East Coast Barbers. Hmm, no, I never, I never saw that before. Maybe it's been there. Maybe it just got a coat of paint or something. I don't know. I never saw it before. Here's a nice piece of land right here. I might be able to jaywalk this if I can get a, a chance without too many cars coming. I don't know, there's a lot of cars coming. Maybe I better walk to the light. Unless they all go by, then I will take a chance. I think there's only one car coming now. I might be able to do it then. There we go. Right now, I can make it. Nothing coming that way. I can make it all the way over. Then when I get to, I'm gonna walk down Spring Garden today. I know, I, I go there quite often, but it is a main through street, and a business, business street. We haven't got that many busy business streets here. So I only got a, a handful to pick from, so if I go there often, you know, it's because there's not any other business street down here. Um, I never got into this when I lived in Toronto. It would have been great because they got lots of streets up there. But Halifax is our home unless unless something I don't know, who knows what what opportunity could present itself in a bigger city, you never know can't predict the future so for now this is our home it could be our home for a long time it could be our home less time than we think 
I don't know. But right now, this is our home and we're not getting any plans of moving. So, But you can never rule anything out because you can't predict the future, what might, what might change. Well, here we are on the corner of Spring Garden and Roby. Still heading south, but we're going to make a left turn here. And we'll be heading uh, east on Spring Garden Road. I feel so fortunate when I see people that get around that way and that's the, that's the best I can do. Like, I feel so fortunate because I'm a retiree and I'm still walking around and a lot of days I walk eight, nine, nine and a half, ten kilometers and so I'm thankful, I'm grateful. It's no one's fault if you can't walk good. It's not your own fault, it's just things that happen to you. And I'm grateful, grateful for every every moment I have that I'm enjoying life. I'm not confined to a chair or, or some kind of place I don't want to be. I'm home living in our own place. And uh, I don't have to be in a, some kind of a senior's place and things like that. That's not for me. I'd rather keep walking, and keep my body moving than wind up in a place like that. Yeah, it's not something I think I would enjoy. Well, we're making our way down Spring Garden. Once we get down to where the park is, then they will be coming to the business business section. I featured that building before I showed what they. I should have took a picture of it before they did the overhaul on it because. It looks like a brand new building now, but it's not. It's a, it's just been upgraded to look good. That's amazing. They did an amazing job on that. Those balconies used to be just cement, no paint on them. The railings were different. They took it all off and put glass fronts on them. And yeah, they gave it a whole new look. Very nice. We are passing the university right now. A lot of these buildings belong to the university. They're either residences or, or uh, little bistro there. I guess it's not open today. It don't look like it is. It looks like it's kind of uh, kind of uh, closed right now. There goes a just met a poor poor soul walking up the sidewalk talking to himself. It's too bad. There's Quite a few people in this city having problems like that. There's a lot of mental illness everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere you go, there's mental illness. Well, we 
we're just coming by the Halifax Public Garden. The southwest corner. I could stay on the street or I could walk down through the walkway. You wanna do that? Alright. Public garden. Do I take the walkway? I'm not gonna go all through the park, I'm just gonna go right down the south, the most southern edge of the park. Down this walkway right here. I won't go in there because I probably have to circle back out. I just go right straight through here. The one in the center of the screen. There we go. I'm gonna take that one. And we'll walk down to the gate and back out to the gate. And uh, I'm longing to see buds popping out on these bushes and these trees. And I see buds, but they're not doing anything yet. I was out, out in, uh, I don't know, like BC or Alberta, somewhere, the cherry blossoms were all out, and then it turned around and snowed the next day. I don't know if they, if it destroyed them or, or if they're still there. Myself, I'd rather wait till it warms up and then put the cherry blossoms out. Look at these things, are about to do something. They're about to do something. I don't know what kind of a bush that is, but I'm not an expert on plants. But I'm just longing for the the cherry blossoms. That's about the first thing you see in the spring. The cherry blossoms. And apple blossoms too, yeah. Forty-seven minutes right now. I've broken my 45 rule. It's all right. It's my rule. I can break it. Right? You agree? Okay. I brought. I made my rule, and I can break my rule. But I try. I try to to get it somewhere around 45 minutes. I'll be off a little bit, but I don't think I'll go any more than one hour, which will give me. Let's see. 43, yeah, I give about 17, eight, 17 minutes to finish up this video and make it within the hour. I think I can do it. I think I can. Then once I get up to around Scotia Square, I gotta catch my bus. Go back home. And if I'm lucky, they'll save some supper for me. <laughs> I think they will. Look at the leaves out on this, these trees right here. I don't know if they've been there all year or they just popped in. Wow. It's almost time. The grass is getting green, look. You can see the green in the grass now. We're getting there, we're on the edge. It won't be long, and we'll see those buds popped out. I don't know if these leaves are were here all year, I don't know, but they're really out there right now. Yeah, look at all the green stuff here, the leaves and the... Yeah, I don't know. This one here, let's see if any buds are popping yet. Nothing coming out of them yet, is there? Nah. They're about to. But they're not there yet. But there is a lot of leaves. I think these are early leaves and they fall off quite early. Oh look. See these little things right here? Right now, right there are those things. On the other side of the path, they're already opening up. See? Okay. 
spring is here, but not quite, not quite to that nice warm spring yet. Well, out through the gate. See what's going on in Spring Garden Road today. That's always interesting. Walk down the, up and down the street, see what's going on. It is a business street. Pretty much starts right here, the businesses. There is a few things down that way, but it pretty much the beginning of the business street is right here. A lot more people on this side of the street than on over there for some reason. I guess there's more stuff on this side that they're interested in. I guess that must be it. I'm just going to change hands. I had that in my right hand for quite a while. So I'm going to put it in my left hand for now. Move my right one around. Yeah, this is one of our nicest uh, walking streets. It's a good street to walk on. Well, that guy was playing an accordion when he went by. <laughs> Dresden Row coming right up here. In this block is Tim Hortons. I may stop in there. I might, I might think about it. Might stop into Tim's, get a quick coffee, small one or something. Possibly do that, maybe. I've been walking a while. It'd be nice to just uh, Stop in there, maybe I could uh, end my video there. I could. I could end my video at Tim Hortons on Spring Garden Road. This has been a long walk. 50, no, 40. Try to read it while I'm moving. Probably close to 50 minutes. So we'll get down here to Tim's and I'll probably sign off. How's that? That good? All right. All right, right here. Right here. I'm going to sit on this ledge and finish off my video, okay? There. I'm on the sit down level to the sidewalk level here on the Spring Garden Road. It's 55 minutes into this video. So that's pretty good video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to push that like button. And if you're not yet a subscriber, go ahead and push that subscribe button. It won't bite you. Just push it and there you'll be a subscriber. And there's a notification bell there if you want to make sure you get a little ding on your phone whenever I post a video. 
you won't miss a thing, okay? With that, I hope you're having a really nice day. Take care, be safe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.